Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. And in today's video, we will discuss direct variation. This is the first video that we natin for the series of variations wherein we will discuss direct variation, inverse variation, joint variation, and combined variation. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So basically guys, direct variation is a simple um, relationship between two variables. So we have here the different statements, y varies directly as x, y is directly proportional as x, y is proportional to x. These statements under direct variations. And all of these statements can be translated as y is equal to kx. Again, these statements of direct variation are all translated or can be translated into y is equal to kx. Wherein the two variables here is x and y. Your x is the dependent variable and y is the independent variable. And as for the letter k, this one is considered as the constant. This is the constant of variation. Wherein when we say constant, that is a number, guys. Okay? So I have here, uh, write an equation for the following statements. So basically, guys, before we sub, uh, solve problems about direct variation, we need to know how to translate Variation statements, like this one. Y is directly proportional to X. As you can see, this one is the same as this. So we can simply convert or trans translate Y is directly proportional to X as Y is equal to KX. Okay? As simple as that. For number two, the weight or W of an object, of an object, is directly proportional to its mass, M. So the question here, what are the two variables? The two variables are weight or W and the mass, which is M. So to translate this one into a variation equation, that is equal to your weight, okay? Your weight is equal to Km. Your W is equal to K M, or in this is your weight W, constant of variation which is K, and your M, which is the mass of an object. Now let's continue. Solve the problem. So this is the first problem that we will solve for direct variation, wherein we are given the problem. If y varies directly, again, this is the word, varies directly. So this one is definitely an example of direct variation. If y varies directly as x and y is equal to 24, when x is equal to 6, find the variation constant and the equation of the variation. So given the last statement here, we need to find the variation constant, which is the, the k, and the equation of variation. So a lot of students find this one difficult because it is a word problem. But what I'm teaching here is that for you to understand or to solve this properly, you need to break down the statement or the given problem. First, this is the first breakdown. I will break it down first at the, in this statement. If y varies directly as x, so I will put a slash here. Because this kind of statement or phrase, this will give you the variation equation. Next, y is equal to 24 when x is equal to 6. This is the second breakdown, wherein if the two variables x and y, the dependent and independent variables are given, are complete, it will give you the information or this will be help, this will help you to solve for the variation constant which is k. And lastly, ito yung last natin yung, yung problem natin. So let's move on with, let's move on with the first statement. If y varies directly as x, sabi dito, find the equation of the variation. You need to translate this one. The proper translation of y 
varies directly as x is simply y is equal to kx. Now, this is our answer for the equation of the variation. So, we're done with that. Now, last thing that we need to do is to find the variation constant. How are we going to find the variation constant? Since we have here, we already have the variation equation and we have the value of y and the value of x, we can simply solve for the constant, which is we will be using x is equal to 6 and your y is equal to 24. All you need to do is to plug in or substitute these values to the given equation. We're in your y is equal to 24, so we can directly replace y as 24. And then equal to, copy your variable k, and as for the variable x, x is equal to 6, so we can put this as times 6. Simplifying this, this will give you 24 is equal to 6k. And to solve for the variation constant, we need to manipulate the equation by dividing this both sides by 6. And as you can see, we can cancel out 6 and 6. And what will remain here is k. And 24 divided by 6, we have the answer of 4. Therefore, guys, by commutative frequency, we can reverse this as k is equal to 4. Your constant or the variation constant is simply 4. That's it guys for the first problem. In the next part of our video, we will solve two more problems about direct variation. Okay, so let's have another two examples for direct variation. So before I start, another thing that you need to know about direct variation is that the characteristic of the variables, if the two variables, if one variable goes up, the other variable will go up. And if one variable goes down, another variable will go down. Yun yung characteristic ng isang direct variation. Okay, let's move on to the second, number, second problem. If y varies directly as x and y is equal to 35 when x is equal to 7, what is the value of x when y is equal to 25? So this one is a bit confusing for some students, but in our case, we will try to divide the statement for us to work uh, easily. First, you will break it down for this part and this part. So let's have the first part of our problem. If y varies directly as x, so you can translate this into a, a formula or equation as y is equal to kx. And as for the second part, we have y is equal to 35 when x is equal to 7. This will serve or this will give us the information to find the value of k or the constant. So what will happen? Your x, your y is equal to 35 and your x is equal to 7. Substitute the values to the given equations. So this is 35 is equal to 7k because your x is equal to 7, so this is 7k. And to solve for k, divide both sides by 7, cancel, cancel, your k now is equal to 5. This is now the constant of variation. Since we already have the constant of variation, we can create an equation. So what will happen is that your k is 5, diba? Right? So we will have here y is equal to replace k with 5, 5x. This is now the equation for the variation. Okay? So we will use this to solve the main problem. What is the value of x when y is equal to 25? Again, we are asked for the value of x when y is equal to 25. So dito, your y is equal to 25 while your x is unknown. So we will use 25 and replace y here. So this is 25 is equal to 5x. And to simply solve for x, manipulate the equation by dividing both sides by 5. Cancel, cancel. Your x is equal to 5. So let's compare, guys. This is the final answer. 
as you can see, dito ah, as you can see, uh, your y here is 35 and your y here is 25. As you can see, the characteristics of y or the movement of y, it goes down. From, 20, from 35, it became 25. So the movement of y is down. Since this one is a direct variation, if your x is equal to 7, we will expect that the value of y is lower than 7 because the movement of your y goes down. So as you can see, from 7 to 5, both the variable x and y, their characteristics is going down or the value is going down. So that is direct variation. Now let us continue for item number 3. A service fee, F, of a physical therapist varies directly as the number of hours and of service rendered. A physical therapist charges 2,300 for 3 hours of service to patients. How much would he be paid for 7 hours of service? Now this one is an example of direct variation. So the two variables here guys, ito ha, the two variables here is yung service fee which is represented by F followed by the number of hours. Which is represented by N. Now for us to solve for this problem or for us to solve this problem we need a general equation using these two variables f and n. Since this one is a direct variation, we can use the formula f is equal to kn, wherein your f is the service fee, while your n is the number of hours rendered by the physical therapist. Now, for us to solve this problem, we need to solve for the k or the concept of variation first. Sabi dito sa ating second sentence, a physical therapist charges 2,343 hours of service to patients. So dito, sa, sa second sentence, yung fee, or F natin, is 2,300. While the number of hours is 3. So dito, ang kailangan natin mag mag ang maging n natin, ang maging k natin dito ang lalabas ay yung um, parang yung rate niya per hour. So that's why, to solve for k, we will use these values and replace f and n. That will become 2,300 pesos is equal to k times 3 or in short, we can write it as 3k na lang. Okay. And to finally solve for the concept of variation, simply divide both sides by 3. Cancel, cancel, and you will have K is equal to, you need to divide 2,300 by 3. I'm using a scientific calculator for us to solve faster. 2,300 divided by 3. And that will give me the answer of 76 1,600, ah sorry, 766.6 .6 pesos. You round off na lang natin guys. So the value of K is 766, 766.6 pesos. Ito yung magiging rate niya. Ngayon, if you already have the value of k, we can use this and replace this one to get the, the main equation. So we will replace k here. It will become f is equal to 766.6 n. To solve this problem, how much would he be paid for 7 hours of service? So dito, yung f natin is unknown and your n is equal to 7 hours. So we will replace the variable n by 7. It will become f is equal to 766.6 times 7. So to multiply, I will use again my scientific calculator, guys. We will have 766.6 times 7. 
and it will give us the answer of 5,366.2 pesos. Ito na ngayon yung mismo sagot natin guys. For the question, how much would he be paid for 7 hours of service? As you can see, for 3 hours of service, he will receive, he charges 2,300. And since this one is an example of direct variation, to match yung number of hours, that the position that the position work for the tariff fee and what is the fee to master? That's how um, direct variation works. Kung tumataas yung isang variable, ganun din tataas din yung isang variable. So guys, if you have any question about this uh, this topic or this video, feel free to comment down below. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me teacher going. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!